Okay, now that we've got all of our dams in place at all the corners, there's the help. So we have all the leaves and debris off the driveway. And if you don't do that, they're going to end up in your job, trust me. So uh, we're just going to blow this off real quick, get rid of uh, all the debris. It'll just take a moment. And then we'll start uh, mixing our mastic. sticks and dust and everything on the driver because when you put glue which is essentially what this is in the joint if there's any wind like there is today it's gonna end up in the joint always does hate swirling winds right here's what I'm talking about this is your enemy these leaves Fresh pipe back. We had to come back on this, wait one more extra day because uh, they put in uh, landscaping. So you, you want to schedule your jobs around anything like that. You better off waiting. Okay, ready to start mixing our mastic, and I usually use a little bit of, uh, I usually use uh, some sand and a brush and a cup. Uh, once I got these joints filled up with sand, I'm going to go down and I'll show you how we do the finishing touches here as we're, as we're going to these joints. But first, let's mix up some mastic, and there's a trick to that, and I'll show you. Here's our good old caulking gun. And let's see if we can get to where we can mix some mastic and show it pretty good. I usually use my mastic gloves, I have a special set of gloves that you're going to run them one way or the other. ketchup bottles and cut them off. I cut them off all the way to the end pretty much. You want to pick an area where you can work. So if you can see that you can't quite see it. Alright. That'll work. And back up just a little bit. A little bit more angle on it. Let's see there you go. There you go. Right there. Here's your tolerance. Ah, uh, see how the wind's just 
now picked up. Just want to keep an eye on your job. Tip, just a standard can opener, paint can opener. Move about halfway around. So one or slope, what they actually call it, which you can use for steeper, steeper grades. You can get your activator, which is your hardening agent. Now, what you do is on this is put your hand on the plastic and squeegee this stuff off. The mastic it comes with this plastic on top to separate the packaging for the activator. You just squeeze it off back into there. Take the plastic, pull it in half. I usually just fold it right in half. It's gooey, but you can still use it once you fold it. If it wasn't windy, it'd be a lot easier. And then you don't want to get this stuff on you. Treat it like it's baby poop. And then uh, what you do is now you're ready to start mixing. You take your colorant. I usually have the color first. I use everything. I use this to, let's see, go ahead and dump your coloring agent for using stone today. Just a liquid colorant. And to get it out of the bottom, you want to use a, just a regular mixing stick. They come in real handy with this mastic, especially by like squeaking off the edges and putting it back down in there. Things not cheap, you want to get every little bit you can out of this bucket. So I usually use these paint mm -hmm. sticks to squeegee around and make sure I get it every little bit. I want to get as much colorant too, so you're consistent with your salt buckets. I usually get between, I don't know, 2 by 4 joints, 30 and 50 feet maybe on these buckets. Of Mastic now. If you're in a hurry like I am, you can go ahead and mix in your color, uh, your activator. You always carry a knife. Can't do any of these jobs without a knife. this at all on anything. If you do, get some xylene and a step wire brush and a rag and clean it up immediately. This will stain the driveway. It looks like K-Roll syrup. But you get that on our driveway and you let it set up and you're not getting it off. Chemicals, fire washing, mechanical, it's very, very tough stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, depending on humidity and temperature. You've got time, so don't be in a rush. And as I said, I'm treating it like baby poop. Don't get a drop of the stuff or anything on you. When I first started putting it in, I I'd be covered in it. But this is what your, your plastic is for. Start out slow. Don't be in a hurry.
handle and pop that glass piece against the can. Set it back on the plastic. Plastic is key. And then spill a drop anywhere. And you gotta be very careful. That lid on nice and straight. You get it crooked, you're gonna have a big mess. And you stay as clean as you can as long as you can. Now we're gonna go ahead and cut the tip all the way down to the last line. There's two lines on here. And I cut it down to the very last line. Just like that. You want to keep a cup of sand handy. Lay down the joint. We've already made sure the joint is nice and clean. And we've already ground, ground, grinded the inside of it is so we know we're tapping into, we're going to have to be getting the glue into a good, a good substrate here. And that's about what, how you want it. Just like that. I usually run a knife down the edge of what the area that I'm going to do and then I'll leave my knife right exactly where I left off. Now, I've already pretty much cleaned these but you want to make sure you don't have any sand, any sand where you, where you want to be tying into with the uh, substrate. Now we'll go with our mastic and again just take your time These are some of the wider 2x4 joints I've seen. These are actually it's like about 2 inches thick, 2 inches wide. Typically, they're not this wide, but there's a lot more material. It is SL and it is self-leveling. You'll get about 6 of these 32 ounce bottles bucket.